This is Joe from JoeTech.com, and I want to show you a little iPhone app that um, that someone gave me to review. Uh, it's called I Love Me, and uh, kind of a weird name for it. But it, what it does is it makes kind of a, a bobblehead out of your own photos. Um, so you can do this with your own photos or someone else's, or uh, it doesn't even have to be a person. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, let me first start out by showing you the app. Okay, so it starts out, um, when it starts out it actually has the demo loaded, but I'm going to go ahead and load that now just to show you real quick what it does. So I have the demo loaded, and in the demo I have all these photos. And this is the developer who actually created the app. Um, so we've got, uh, what, six, seven photos here of him, and uh, it's kind of hard to tell in here, but you've got the... Um, You've, you've got him with his head all the way to the, the left from our perspective and then uh, a little bit more straightened out and then more straightened out and then it goes all the way to his head being all the way to the right. Um, kind of hard to tell but so anyway uh, once you hit go at the bottom it turns him into a bobblehead so you turn it one direction his head goes that direction so you can shake him around, make his head move a bunch. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I was kind of excited to try it out actually before it was even in the app store. I heard about it and decided that I wanted to play with it so he gave me an, uh, a copy to try out. So um, what I did was is I created my own and, and I'll show you how this works because I'm gonna have to go and add this. So we'll erase it. I say yeah sure. So now we have nine spaces here to add photos. I've already taken photos. Um, I found out it's really hard to take your own photos of yourself, so you're better off having someone else do it for you. Um, in this case, I didn't have anyone here to do it for me. I'm at the office late. So what I did just for my demo purpose, I used a robot. And it actually worked out really well because I was able to um, set my iPhone up against something to keep it stable. Uh, if you have a, a tripod set up for your iPod, that's great too. Um, and then I, I had the, the robot stationary, so I got pretty good pictures. It helps if everything's pretty still and you're just moving the head of whatever you're taking a photo of. So anyway, uh, we'll go and add the first picture up in the top left. Um, your options here, I don't know if you can read it. Update picture, it says from photo library, choose uh, use camera. Or if there's an existing photo, you can erase it. And the last option here is no change. In my case, I've already had all my photos taken, so I'm going to use photo library for all of these. So then I go into my camera roll. And you can see I have a bunch. Of, I did some with me, and then below here I did some with the robot. So the one to the far left is right there. And there's my photo. So then I'll do that for each additional one photo library and I'll grab that one add another picture from the library I'll grab that one just a couple more here with this head just to the right a little bit One with his head to the right a little bit more. And we have one more photo to add here. So we're also going to use seven for this demo. And with his head to the far right from our perspective. So now I have here seven photos. You can see it starts out with his head all the way to his right or our left. And then I just do each one gradually to the all the way to the other side over here. So it's already created. Next thing to do is I just hit go and I have my robot. So I can move him around, shake him. It's kind of hard to see with this video camera I'm using, but um, you can see his head moving around a little bit. If you look real carefully, you can see my finger in the corner there. Um, but if you're doing this with a person, you'll just have them move their head. So that's how it works. Um, pretty cool app. If you look at the information for the app, 
Um, gives you a little bit of instruction here. This is version one. Uh, basically says all the things I just told you how to and how to use it. Take a bunch of awesome picks. I don't know if mine are awesome, but they're good enough. Um, click go, shake side to side, and that's pretty much it. Um, you can have as few as one picture, which is pointless. Don't ever do one. Have at least three, um, or as many as nine. I find that either five or seven works out really well. One centered, and then a couple variations off to each side. Um, so that's about it. Uh, if you like it, go ahead and click the link. I'll put a link in the blog post where you can uh, get the get the uh, application, or I'll put the name so you can just search for it in your iPhone.